Hi, Ray Hayden here, and uh, this video is uh, about this device right here. This is a USB thumb drive that I use to capture video with, and um, it's just, just a simple one. I went in, into Office Depot and purchased it for this experimentation of how I'm using it and everything else. Um, it just has its own nice little cover built into it. You can buy them cheaper than I purchased this. on. Uh, I went into Office Depot, but you can buy them cheaper um, online. Uh, this is a 64 gigabyte uh, USB uh, 2.0 thumb drive, all right? So I'm keeping it, you know, uh, in, I guess, legacy type equipment. It's USB 2.0, it's not USB 3.0 or anything fancy. And uh, they're, uh, right now, they're, they seem to be pretty inexpensive. Um, so if I'm gonna use this device for any length of time, I might load up on a couple of these, just so I have them for a while. Now, let's get into this device right here. This is the AGP Tech 284. It's also known as the EasyCap 284. I'm going to make another video and discuss the EasyCap version of these things. And by the way, this is black and white. The uh, EasyCap 284 is red and black, okay? I like this one better because it happens to look more professional if I was to take it out in the field. Um, vent holes on the bottom and everything. Um, it's made in China. And the, the company that makes these makes them for a couple of different distributors, apparently. And that's how come we have an AGP Tech and an EasyCap uh, device. But they're the exact same things with the exact same connections. I want to real quick go over the connections. On this side here, we have this little USB device, uh, this little, uh, for a wire. This wire comes with the device, as does a wall wart. You know, a wall wart, you plug it into the uh, power cord or the wall outlet, and um, that gives you the power for this device. This device needs power. It doesn't work um, without any power. You need to have power, um, and uh, you can plug it into the wall, and I believe a computer can power this thing up, but you do not need a computer with this device. You can use this device without a computer. So sorry about flipping around like crazy. I want to show you these things. The input right over here on the far side, we have a HDMI input. It's a full size HDMI. The camera I'm shooting this with has a, a smaller a mini HDMI output. If I take that output and I put, you know, plug it into this uh, large, I have a wire. And my camera came with that particular wire. I couldn't find it, so I went online and bought another one for four bucks. Um, you know, I'll buy them at the store for 20 bucks. You can buy one for four bucks. It does just as good a job. Anyway, so I went in and I bought the cable uh, that I needed for the mini HDMI output to go to this HDMI input, and I captured video at 1080p right onto the thumb drive, which is great. Now, here's the thing about that. If this camera, if I want to make a safety backup of my video, I can record to this device at the same time that I'm recording to my um, camera up here, and I can record it on a thumb drive, and it's very easy to uh, work with the thumb drive. In fact, personally, I find it easier to work with the thumb drive than to work with the um, SDXC card that you can plug in. Uh, you plug in, I'll just show you how it plugs in here, and I'll make the connections in another part of the video, and I'll show you the whole thing. But this just plugs right into the side. You know, if you have a smaller thumb drive or whatever, that's fine and it takes up less space or whatever. But this is a very lightweight device and it works very, very easy. Um, so let's go back to the connections real quick. It has HDMI input, but it also has this funny um, AV input. It looks like a little tiny HDMI or something like that. I'll show you what that is. Basically, it hooks up to a whole bunch of wires. Six different wires can plug into this in the back. Um, this is for a microphone and I imagine this is for if you want to send the audio out and into another recording device or something or you want to monitor it by plugging your headphones into here, you could probably do that too. I don't use either one of these in my videos. Uh, this is an HDMI output and you can take this and send it to an HDMI monitor and have the monitor available so you can see what you're recording on the external monitor. So with that, um, let me go over the different connections and what they do and how you use them with this device. This is the AGP Tech 284 and it is the same as the EasyCap 284 device. And I want to show you how all this works. This, by the way, is a record button. And I'll show you how all this works in a few minutes, okay? So stand by for that. Hey, Ray Hayden and I'm back. And what I want to do is I want to show you that this camera right here that we're pointing at, that's a Canon uh, XHA1. Let me just make sure I got that model number right. I haven't used the camera in a while. That's it. It's the XHA1 camera. Now, this camera had a FireWire output to it. And this is the reason why I bought the EasyCap or the AGP Tech uh, 284 device. Uh, and I want to show you how I use it with that uh, device. Uh, what we have here um, on, the, um, on the AGP Tech, we have a power cord. As a matter of fact, I can't really find that power cord right now. Let me go find where I put that. Let me see here, oh, here it is. 
I'm gonna plug this in. Uh, this is just a USB power cord and it plugs in, you know, just like that right there. Okay, so now we see, I don't know if you can actually see the blue light or not. Uh, let me see if I can bring it clear, there we go. There's a blue light on top of the device that shows you that power is on there. Also, you'll see this green light flashing. It's looking for an HDMI input right now, but it's not gonna find it because I don't have HDMI plugged in. So what I wanna do next is I wanna make a connection for the device. And in the front of the device, uh, on the other part of the video, I, sh I showed you that there's this AV in. Now what plugs in that is this little thing that looks like some kind of little HDMI or something like that. And this plugs into the device here, you know, so let me just plug that in, make sure I got it upside right. I do not. All right, actually there's an arrow. Let me show you on this. I don't know if you can see the arrow, there we go. There's an arrow on the top of the plug to show you which way is up and the other side does not have the arrow. So, you know, I don't know if all the cables are the same that ship with this thing, but the arrow should be up and it plugs in. Before I plug that in, however, I wanna show you that there's a couple of sets of wires coming out from the camera. Now this is the yellow, white, and red. These two are the audio, the red and white are audio, and then the yellow is composite video. If I can record on composite video, and I can, because it has a yellow plug for it, and I can plug the yellow to the yellow, okay, and then I have composite video, this is gonna record at 720p, okay? So that'll record at 720p, which is fine. You may have to do some editing or something like that to change the format in your editing software, but the 720p looks perfectly fine. Um, however, if I take this uh, wire and I fire, uh, uh, follow it back, you can see there's six wires coming out of this device and there's the yellow wire here and coming out of that same package of wires, we have uh, the red and white. As a matter of fact, the red and white are actually connected together, so it's hard to screw this up, okay? So you take the red and white, these are the audio. So you plug red and white in for audio, okay? So now we got the audio coming into the cable. The other thing that we wanna do is we wanna forget about the yellow uh, cable for now, and we wanna go to the RGB, which is red, blue, and green. And now from my camcorder, the uh, camera that's up there, um, I have a component cable output. It's a very specialized cable that came with the camera. It actually took me a while to find it because I never planned on ever using it, but then I, uh, you know, I found the cable and uh, I wanted to try the EasyCap device or the AGP Tech device to make it work. So anyways, we just go ahead and connect the red, the blue, and the green wire, okay? So now all of our wires are hooked up. We got this great big bird's nest of wire, and then we go ahead and plug this in. Make sure I got the, uh, there we go. Make sure I got it going the right direction, okay? And now, um, what I can do is I can, I wanna really reboot this thing. So I unplug the power cord and I plug it back in. And what's gonna ca happen here is that it should say, it's looking for the HDMI, but it's not gonna find it, okay? Because there is no HDMI. It's gonna come up and find the AV cables that are plugged in, I would hope, at some point. And the other thing I want to do is I want to make sure I'm able to record. So I'm going to head and plug this in. There's one reason it's never going to find anything. And it's because I, ironically enough, I don't have the camera turned on. So it's not actually sending a signal out to anything until now. Okay, so it found the signal because I turned the camera on. I didn't have the camera on. So I turned it on and it, uh, there's a red, uh, red light here that's uh, hooked up. Let me get my hand out of the way. Maybe you can see this. All right, so there's the red light. This is going to connect, uh, record it at, at uh, 1080p, however. You know, so that's the important thing I really want you to know is because we have the RGB cables hooked up instead of the yellow wire, okay, which is not connected, don't connect them both at the same time. Leave the yellow one disconnected. And because we're using the component video instead of the composite video, we're going to go ahead and record on this device 720p, or I'm sorry, 1080p. In fact, let me go ahead and start to record on this because I turned the camera on, okay? So we're gonna see my face over here. Over there, the, uh, the camera's on and there's the uh, viewfinder looking back at me. All right, so we're gonna hit the record button here, okay? And then over here, a red light came on that's going to uh, recording. However, and that's why I like this particular device here, this thumb drive has a, a light on it that's indicating it's being accessed. And what it means is it's recording, okay? So that's why I really, really like the device and I like the white cover because we see the blue power light, 
we can see the red record light and we can see the uh, light okay you can actually see it a lot better than on the video um, but there's a red light here I'm trying to get it to show on the video anyways so there's a video here uh, by the AV in this red light up here means that it's recording this is the power uh, power on button or light the blue light and then this flashing light down here on the Lexar thumb drive means that that's actually recording video right now all right so this little device costs less than hundred dollars with everything together, it's still less than $100. Now, um, I'll probably show you, maybe I, maybe I will, maybe I won't, and another, I don't know, maybe I got the thing right here. Let me just see if I can pull one of these things out of nowhere. Um, let me see if I can find one of these little hard drives. Uh, I don't see one right, oh, what's this? Here we go. I do, I'm sorry for the delay here, I hate, I hate delays on the videos. This is a device that I was capturing video on. This is a very, very expensive device that you can't buy anymore because they don't make it anymore. And the idea is DTE is direct to edit. So you can take your video, you shoot it, and then you would plug this thing in with FireWire. And that's the problem with it. The camera has FireWire. The camera up there has FireWire. Bink. This camera uses FireWire outputs, and this device here is FireWire. But the problem is all our computers and everything don't have FireWire anymore. So I'm going to take this very nice camera, and it's going to be a nice paperweight. And I don't appreciate that. So that's why I went and I looked for the device. I was looking for anything I could find to um, convert FireWire to HDMI or anything of that nature. Um, but this, this particular 284 device, the EasyCap or AGP Tech uh, 284 device allows me to connect all my cables up to it and record 1080p. And I gotta tell you, the uh, direct to edit video hard drive thing, this device over here, this all recorded 1080i or 720p. So when I record my video, I was only getting 720p on it. And this is a very expensive, you know, hard, you know, chunk. And if anything goes wrong with this, I'm done. Okay, so, but using the uh, EasyCap device as a backup, uh, you know, then I'm recording, I have backup, I can see that it's recording here, the file should be fine, I should just, you know, accept that everything's going to be fine with it. And then uh, if I need the backup, I have it. And then, um, but the other, uh, the other specific thing about this is that these thumb drives are inexpensive. If anything goes wrong with a thumb drive, I, it's another 20 bucks or whatever, or, or less, and I can get another thumb drive and, uh, and be back in business again, okay? So, uh, and I also like the fact that we got all the lights. Let me shut this light off here, maybe I can see it better. Yeah, made an adjustment for the other lights. <laughs> so anyway, so I'll turn this baby back on. Anyway, so, you know, we have all these different lights on here that demonstrate that the uh, device is on, it's recording, it tells us what type of format it's recording, and I'm telling you that it records 1080p and it records it very well. So anyways, I just wanted to show all the connections and everything else. Uh, the device is very, very lightweight. Um, the connection is very stable, um, and all these connections are very, very good. These RCA connections for the uh, composite, I'm sorry, the component video, as well as the uh, audio and video, they're very, very stable. They're very tight. They fit nice, and they uh, they work very, very well for me. And uh, forget all the uh, forget all the uh, sloppiness here. I'll sh one of these days I'll do what a lot of people do, and I'll show how it is I actually make video, and I'll show you the whole setup up there. It's kind of unique. Anyways, so with that, I hope this is helpful. The AGP Tech and or EasyCap 284 device uh, works very, very well to allow me to use my um, Canon. Uh, XHA1 camcorder, which would, you know, this is a couple thousand dollars, this camera, and this would have ended up being a paperweight, a very expensive paperweight, and that would have made me very sad. So now I get to use the device again, and uh, I, I capture my video directly, directly to this device, and then I, I don't have to hook this up to a computer at all. I shut everything off. As a matter of fact, let's stop recording now. I press the stop recording button. You'll wait till this light stops flashing. Any day now. There we go. Now, the other thing is the light here stops flashing too. Now it's safe to remove. Okay, so you don't want to yank it out when it's still flashing. You want to make sure that the light stops flashing, then remove the device, and then I plug this right into my computer and edit my video, you know, right then and there. If I'm not going to edit anything, if I shoot a little video, a little test video or something, I can just upload it right straight the way it is. I don't have to do anything different to it. So with that, um, I hope that's helpful. Uh, leave comments in the, uh, below. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or anything like that, and um, take care, and we'll talk to you soon. Be well. Bye-bye.